I look very spooky and very crazy. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, my name is Emma. Um, I am getting over being sick. I am getting over it. I am so, so sick of being sick. It's now the fourth week of the semester, and I'm already playing the catch-up game because I couldn't go to any classes, <laughs> and I did very minimal amounts of homework because I was not dead. So I am going to be taking you guys with me throughout this week. A week in the life of an English lit major and because I'm behind I have even more reading than usual to do. So in order to catch up I need to read a lot of this book. I'm currently on page 77 and I need to get to page 235 um, before class today and then write a discussion question post thing. This is for my intro to women's literature class. And then for my speculative literature class, we are reading the short stories from Reconstruction by Aliyah Johnson. I feel like her middle name is Dawn, but I could totally be making that up. I wanna try to do some yoga. It's not even 10 a.m. I feel amazing. I still feel sick, but I feel amazing. <laughs> um, I feel alive, which is good. <laughs> Okay, so it is now Tuesday and it's 2 p.m. So I didn't get everything done that I need to get done last night, but I'm going to work on reading those short stories and um, writing those journals today. And I have class at four and there's no way I can get that done in two hours because these are on the longer side for short stories. They're not like flash fiction and I'm not that fast of a reader. So um, I think today I'm not going to class and I'm just gonna spend the two hours before class and the time during class um, working on those journals. Ignore the mess behind me. <laughs> um, but I got some book mail. Not entirely like exciting book mail, but books nonetheless. First, I got English Grammar Workbook for Dummies. Um, I have been stressing lately because I do well in my English classes and I like English and I'm good at analyzing stuff. But Grammar is something that I've never been able to get the hang of and I've been panicking about it a lot more um, Especially like if I want to work in a publishing house or like anywhere in the book industry 
knowing proper English grammar probably matters. So I got this because, I mean, I guess they have online quizzes too, which sounds like something I really don't want to do. The fact that it's a workbook means I'll probably get the hang of it better, understand it better, because I'll actually be interacting with it. Next is another sort of Englishy book, um, The Elements of Eloquence by Mark Forsyth. I read this a long time ago when I was in high school. And I remember really enjoying it and thinking it was great, but I don't remember a lot of what was actually in it, and I gave my copy to um, one of my friends who was tutoring me at the time. So I wanted another copy to read. So yeah. I don't know how to explain it because I don't entirely remember what it's about. It's just a very Englishy, linguistic-y book. This isn't book mail, but I got a case for my iPad because um, it needed a case because um, I don't want to break it. Breaking things sucks, generally. Yeah, orange. But this is great because this means I can take this to class and use it for notes because the past couple of days um, when I've gone to class, I've just been taking paper with me, which is fine because that's how I normally write notes, but I've been trying to get more paperless. And for a person who's analog, it's really difficult to go paperless. <laughs> it cases it. Okay, so I just had a workshop for creative nonfiction. Yes. Um, it is almost 3 p.m. I don't know what accent that was, but it wasn't a good one. Um, and I have pretty much everything done that I need to get done. I have a couple things I want to work on, like I have an essay due tomorrow um, and stuff like that. But I kind of want to work through the first chapter of this. It's a super short first chapter. There's like 20 chapters, which is a lot but I feel like makes it a lot easier for me because I can just go chunk by chunk. Yeah, I have class at 4 and then it ends at 5.15 and I have work at 6 and I get out at 8. So I can probably do some homework once I get back and then I'll have almost all day tomorrow to work on the other homework.
Okay, so it is Saturday. Um, I still have homework to do, but I did catch up from everything. And last night I stayed up until like 2 a.m. Um, working on some stuff that's not due until Thursday when I had stuff that was due like at... I don't always make sense. <laughs> I rarely make sense, but it'll all work out. Um, so I have some homework to do today, but I figured I would sign off now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching A Week in the Life of an English Major. It's a lot of reading and writing. <laughs> I will hopefully see you guys soon. I have a couple books that came in on Libby, so a reading vlog will probably be up in a bit. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, less spooky. <clears throat>